Can the newly elected Republican Congress bring back parental rights in schools? Let's ask Virginia Fox, the newly appointed head of the Education and Workforce Committee, this crucial issue. Fox, Virginia welcome back to the show before I leave for Paris, I just want to ask you. Ah, the Bidens have a new income-based scheme for these student loan write-offs, the student loan giveaways and it's good you know the estimates are $600 billion. Is there any way you can get this? Stuff out of the education department which is not, you know, is not equipped to be a banker I guess that's one part of the problem. Larry nothing would make me happier than to prevent the federal government from becoming one of the biggest banks in the world. We need to do that because we have no business doing it. This was done. When Obamacare was passed in order to find the money to justify Obamacare, and we need to get rid of it. However, we haven't been able to, but you're right. The education department has no business. Operating like a large bank. By the way, under their plan for the IDR, many students will be able to graduate without ever making a single loan payment, many of them have already done so. All of this will be paid for by taxpayers, many of whom didn't want to send their children to college or who sent them and paid for their education. Is there anything you could do to stop this terrible scheme against the American people? Parents' Bill of Rights, Larry we had presented the law during the last session, but it will likely have its first hearing when it comes to the parents' item of rights. It will also likely be the first bill to emerge from our committee and be brought to the floor. As you can see, we're moving pretty rapidly. We've also made a pledge on the Parents' Bill of Rights. Obviously, parents are not domestic terrorists, they have a right to have a say in their children's education, and we're going to do everything we can to restore those rights. Teachers' unions have tried to take those rights away from parents. We'll be collaborating with other committees on this because we can't do it alone in our committee but we can do it in other committees, and Larry you're so right I made a mistake in thinking that we could do it alone in our committee because your committee is now called the Education and Workforce Committee. Work is opportunity, and welfare is a dead end. To me, this is such a very important matter. We must reinstate work requirements for any type of assistance that people are receiving. By making people dependent on the government, we are placing them in a terrible situation. Congratulations on becoming the chair of your committee, and good luck with the agenda. Work brings dignity to human beings and is fulfilling to people, so we must do that. Good luck with the plan, thanks Virginia, more to come, please. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.